Well, we are recently having a lot of floodings and uh, well, the thing is, where are these floodings coming from? Where is all the water coming from? Uh, it looks uh, really something that comes a bit too fast. Well, the situation is that all this water comes from the land. And uh, so let's follow, go, let's go upstream. So um, let's see where this water is coming from. And uh, if we uh, have a look at that, we see that, uh, yeah, the water flows down roads and, well, we see a lot of erosion here. So there is not only water coming down, but also there is the, uh, well, the, 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 the land coming down. Uh, and in this case, um, this is, uh, well, a lot of water for a relatively small place, but this flows into the river. And if we look further, we will see that the source is really this piece of land here. And uh, this forest also, it's a pine monoculture that also contributes to runoff instead of infiltration. And then there it goes, water goes, takes the good land with it. And uh, this is something where we are seeing uh, problems arising. So what is the uh, reason that these things are happening on uh, such a scale? So there is a type of agriculture that is, uh, well, destroying the soil life by plowing but also uh, by uh, applying biocides, applying uh, water soluble nitrate or ammonia that is also uh, uh, killing soil life. And then this soil becomes impervious, it washes off. And this is something where we see situations like this. And uh, well, this is uh, erosion big time. And uh, this leaves the land without the, um, well, the most uh, fertile land because that is washed off. And this land isn't even too bad because there is a winter grain uh, planted here and so or seeded here. So that's uh, something that is already better than what most do. When we measure infiltration on a field, we will find that most arable land, especially that of uh, agrochemical agriculture with plowing, but also land with organic agriculture that is still plowed or tilled, uh, we have uh, very bad infiltration rates. And at my institute, we are measuring this. And um, I recently visited a farm in, in uh, southern Germany that is regenerative since around 30 years. No-till and also uh, organic biodynamic farm. And they recently measured 167 liters of water infiltrating into the soil in one hour. And so that would mean that the water wouldn't flow off the field, but it would be replenishing the groundwater. And so we do have this uh, situation that we do find, uh, well, the runoff of the soil and creating flooding. But the flip side of it is the other uh, aspect of flooding is to have uh, droughts. So all this water that is flowing off is causing droughts as well. So next time you see flooding somewhere, please think that this water 
would be needed. It's all going down, disappearing instead of replenishing the groundwater. And that's why we need to switch to regenerative agriculture, get away from plowing, get away from uh, biocides and uh, make the soil spongy again. And that's the natural state of soil and then it can absorb masses of water and flooding would be a very, very rare event.